The third ASEAN China TV Week takes place in Nanning, capital of Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, from October 27 to November 2. The Lao Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism, or MSCT, has been invited to jointly hold the event, making this year's event the first of its kind to be held by parties from both China and ASEAN countries despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Addressing the online opening ceremony of the third ASEAN China TV Week held in Nanning, Deputy Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism, Mr. Un Thuong Khao Pan, said Laos is strengthening cooperation with other ASEAN countries and China in developing media cooperations and adopting new technologies. Strengthening of these fields is a key objective under the framework of China's Belt and Road Initiative. Mr. Untuang said adding that this year was the 30th anniversary of the dialogue relationship between China and ASEAN countries. Delivered a video message at the third ASEAN China TV Week Audiovisual Communication Forum, Director General of the Lao National Television, Suwan Vilai Sang, said ASEAN China TV Week is also a key activity for ASEAN and China in enhancing cooperation and co planning. He said the media of Laos and China and ASEAN countries have played an important role in promoting talks and cooperation and people to people exchanges and media from ASEAN and China are expected to continue to strengthen exchanges, innovate ways of cooperation, and actively tell stories about ASEAN and China. It is highlighted that for the first time, the Lao Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism was invited to jointly host ASEAN China TV Week. And for the first time, a cooperation agreement between China, Laos, and Indonesia was signed to co-host the screening week for our China ASEAN audiovisual program. Guangxi is not easy, but it is possible. The China ASEAN TV Week holds a series of activities, including an opening ceremony, a young host camp, a short video contest, and a summit on audiovisual communications. Outstanding Chinese TV series will be screened through mainstream media and online platforms in Laos and Indonesia. In the meantime, local mainstream media and online audiovisual platforms broadcast the dubbed TV series Minning Town, the documentary A Pleasant Home, Better Days, Mysterious Land of Guangxi, and the cartoon Kona Blue, as well as a number of other excellent audiovisual works to build a bridge of radio and television to connect China and ASEAN countries and foster people to people bonds. So Utah makes. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the establishment of dialogue relations between ASEAN and China. The TV Week focused on the fruitful achievements of ASEAN countries and China in overcoming the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic and deepening audiovisual cooperation. Subaksan Silapet, LNTV News Team reports.